with the holiday season coming up i've been looking for a really comfortable good quality dad sandal i do actually have a dad sandal from asos that's already broken so i basically i've had enough <laughs> and i've decided that i'm going to spend a bit more money to invest in a decent pair that can last me for a few holidays because i love to holiday and can be comfy something i could put on when i'm you know with the kids pushing the pram or all do all the things in them and still feel cute so i picked up these uh, mare's cypher sandals and if you're new here you might not know that i have really big feet so i usually wear a uk size 10 sometimes i can get away with a nine because i have quite narrow feet i was considering the the chanel dad sandals i think they're actually quite nice the quilted ones but they don't go up to my size so i basically had limited options and from my limited options i decided that these might be a decent fit i really thought that they were going to be too wide for me but i thought i'd give them a try these sandals do also come in the women's section as well which as somebody who shops with large feet is always um quite an affirming feeling i don't always like to feel as though i have to wear men's shoes although the ones i picked up are from the men's section they also come in women's and as far as i know from the research that i've done there is no difference between the men and the women's they're crafted in the same way so i picked them up and they came they came i'm just a sucker i am convinced that i should have been born like a a <laughs> a billionaire's wife or something because i just love the i love really good quality luxury packaging i just love it so as soon as i un, as soon as i open up the box and i saw this beauty in real life this box is very sturdy i love the quality of it i definitely think it's a box that you could store your shoes in and then the sandals come in two separate dust bags which are always cute it's kind of got the a mez logo on the on the front i do try to keep track of my dust bags especially for my handbags at the moment i don't have a lot of space to pack my handbag so i do have to be quite thoughtful about how i pack them and you know what order i put them in so having dust bags really helped and then i picked up I wasn't sure what colour to pick up. My knee-jerk reaction was to pick up black because you know black goes with everything and it's an easy colour to wear. However, I have been finding that, especially during the summer, I find that sometimes black shoes or black sandals can look a bit harsh, especially when I'm wearing lighter colours. I do have a few, a few holidays planned for this year. I already have, I don't have a, a pair of black dad sandals, but I do have a few pairs of black sandals already so i kind of wanted to get a color that was a bit more gentle i can't think of a, of a better word for it but you know uh i find that sometimes browns browns or nudie colors are a bit less harsh when you're pairing it with other browns or whites or linens right so that's what i had in mind and i picked up the brown they are calling it natural or neutral one of the one of the two neutral probably and i thought that it would look very very nice with some of my more neutral muted outfits however i was slightly apprehensive about this color because it really does remind me of of my granddad <laughs> I love my granddad, but I am certain that growing up, I saw a pair of shoes that look like <laughs> look like this in the house. I thought I'd pick them up anyway and just give it a chance and see how I felt about them. So as you can see, they come stuffed immediately. As soon as I take the stuffing out, they kind of remind me of Birkenstocks. They've got the toe bed that's quite structured. And then on the inside, if you guys can see, it's kind of a uh, raised to fit the shape of your foot, which I love because that's where you're gonna get all of your comfort. So I was really happy with the crafting of the inside of the shoe. Immediately, I think it's it's kind of the same with Birkenstocks as well. They just look really, really wide. I think it's just the style of them. So when I went to put my feet in these, I just presumed that they were just gonna be a bit too wide, but they're actually not. They are actually very, very comfortable and I think what helps is that I would say that the widest part of it is across here where the strap is adjustable 
what I did was put them on and then at the widest part of the shoe, I was able to just adjust it and make it a bit tighter. It does have silver detailing on the corner here, which on a brown, on a black brown shoe, I probably would have preferred it if it was gold, but I'm, I mean, it's not a deal breaker. It's not the end of the world. You probably won't even re be able to see it when they're on. And then they have an Hermes sign on the side, logo in the middle and on the back. The grip on them is also very, very nice. I, of course, I've just got these, so I haven't had a chance to wear them. I am planning on going away, I would say probably within the next couple of months. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to give them a try then. I was also reading some comments on some other reviews that maybe the leather is quite firm. Of course, I haven't worn them for a full day or anything like that. So I'd probably need to reserve a bit of my judgment from for that. But on first impressions, first trying them on and walking around in them in the house, they don't feel uncomfortable at all. I wore a pair of Birkenstocks a few years ago and I ended up with blisters just cause my feet were kind of rolling around inside of them. And I did used to work in a kid's shoe shop and Birkenstocks always used to give the kids problems. They were really good for children who had quite chunky feet, but for the children who had na more narrow feet, they really didn't work. But with these, I don't think that I'll have an issue. I don't anticipate having an issue. And if I do, it's probably gonna be around the area of the buckle, just because it's folded. You can see that the lever is folded on the inside right here. The leather's folded. So I'd imagine that if I was gonna get any rubbing, it might be from this bit here. With the box, it also comes with a card that kind of outlines how to try them on. I ordered these online. I didn't have any problems ordering them online. You have to create an account on the website. So I created an account on the website. This is my first online order, order with Emmys. So I created an account and then I made the order. I got given a delivery order number and I was able to track the order. When it came, they asked for, for my name. I didn't have to sign for it though, but they did, uh, they did ask for a name. It took four days to come. The availability of the colors wasn't super great, at least not in the men's. So there were quite a few sizes that were out of stock, depending on the color that you picked, but I have not tried picking up these in store. So you might have more luck in store if there's a particular color that you want that you can't find online. But the ordering process online was, was fairly straightforward and I didn't have any issues with getting it delivered or knowing where it was or anything like that. It does come with the receipt inside this envelope. So I picked up my size. I didn't have any problems with the size. I actually think if you have wider feet that is probably worth trying to size size half up I think just because the, the fit on these was so nice for me and I'm so used to things especially shoes from the men's section I'm just so used to them being so wide that I was actually really pleasantly surprised but it's making me think that maybe if you have wider th feet that I wouldn't automatically presume that these are super generous although they look like they are initially i was considering picking up a pair of oran sandals not more recently maybe like a couple of years ago i think i don't i don't hate them they're cute but i don't know if they would be worth it for me but i mean i don't have a choice anyway because they don't <laughs> they don't come in my size if you're somewhere in between with your width i think you'll be okay but if you're an, an extreme on either end, then maybe it's worth going up half a size or down half a size. If you've got any particular questions about these sandals, let me know down in the comments. If I can, I will do an updated review of these once I've had a chance to you know, wear them and do some walking in them and stuff. But I definitely like them based on my first impressions and I'm actually looking forward to taking them out. <laughs>